China develops attack drones for Russia, they may be used against Ukraine. Chinese and Russian companies are developing a strike drone similar to Iran's Shahed. Bloomberg reports this, citing European officials familiar with the situation. They suggested that this is a sign that China is getting closer to providing the kind of lethal aid to Russia that Western officials had previously warned about. Officials speaking on condition of anonymity said that last year the companies agreed to cooperate on the production of an Iranian Shahid's and this year they began developing and testing in preparation for sending them to Russia. According to them, the Chinese drones have not yet been used in Ukraine. Some countries believe that providing Russia with drones for offensive purposes would cross the line into lethal assistance, officials said. The publication noted that Russia relies on China for critical parts and components. According to officials, it is worrying that China can produce drones like the Shahed much faster than Iran or Russia. Officials have not provided details about the drone in development, but Chinese defense websites and several media outlets have reported that the country is developing a kamikaze drone called the Sunflower 200, which is described as similar in appearance to Iran's Shahed-136 drone. The Chinese authorities are trying their best to convince the world that they are neutral in the Russian war against Ukraine. However, China is quietly helping Russia wage this war. European and American officials have repeatedly visited Beijing to reason with the Chinese authorities and not to cooperate with the Kremlin. However, these attempts have led to nothing. Thus, in April, Bloomberg News reported that China provides the Russians with satellite images for military purposes, microelectronics and machine tools for tanks, as well as a number of technologies used in weapons or necessary for their production. Hurricane Barrel is hurtling towards Jamaica as a powerful Category 5 storm after killing at least six people in the Southeast Caribbean. The National Weather Service of U.S. reported that they have never observed a storm this powerful so early in the season. It is noted that Hurricane Barrel is now drenching Hispaniola en route to a potentially life-threatening strike on Jamaica and the Cayman Islands before facing an uncertain future in the Gulf of Mexico that could include impacts in Texas. Beryl's eyewall continues to move quickly west-northwest in the eastern Caribbean Sea well south of Hispaniola. That said, some bands of heavy rain have wrapped into the Dominican Republic and Haiti. A hurricane warning was in effect for Jamaica, Grand Cayman, Little Cayman, and Cayman Brac. Beryl was expected to bring life-threatening winds and storm surge to Jamaica, where officials warned residents in flood-prone areas to prepare for evacuation. I am encouraging all Jamaicans to take the hurricane as a serious threat, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said in a public address. It is, however, not a time to panic. In Miami, National Hurricane Center Director Michael Brennan said Jamaica appears to be in the direct path of barrel. It comes after the monstrous weather system slammed into islands including Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Barbados. Widespread damage to homes and businesses has been reported, along with power cuts and other disruption.